Remember when I just fucking said like 20 minutes ago how I praise this game. Kill something and I leave and I come back. They don't respawn. This game just fucking respawned everything. I cleared this whole goddamn town. I cleared every single fucking mob that walked this earth in this small shithole town. And it just respawned every single one of them. Oh. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. That is fucking so disrespectful. Fuck these hookers. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lord have mercy on my soul. Oh my. Oh. You made it here okay. Not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I made it. Now, tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. But chunks of the city are floating in the air. How are their tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. It exists in a layer separate from what you see. That doesn't make any sense. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. But it's a maze down there. You take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. There. Where's this Merrill that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location of the port. It's in the North Safe House. Looks like a regular computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You could have told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. Anything else you need to know before you go? Wearing this is the only way to get through gas-filled areas of the marrow. O'Neill was nice enough to find a brand new one for you. So you're not wearing a dead man's mask. Thanks, O'Neill. And we start a new chapter. By the way, how did you know that this signal was coming from the guy I mentioned? My communicator went crazy when you tried to call earlier. Something was interfering with it. A frequency I'd never seen before. And it was coming from the warehouse that you were just in. Right before you called, the signal disappeared. And then bam, it was at City Hall. When you said this guy was powerful and that you lost him, well, it stood to reason that he was the source of the signal. What kind of powers are we talking about here? He summoned some of those things, like he was controlling them. Then he just teleported away. Reminds me of the last time I was in STEM. But everyone in Union was tested before they were placed in STEM. There's no way they'd let a psycho in here. Well, I'm here. They didn't test me. But you're not a psychopath. Right? Right. Why do you think he chose to camp out at City Hall? It's probably got something to do with the stable field emitter we set up there. Damn it. What's a stable field emitter? It's a machine that temporarily stabilizes an area of STEM environment if it starts to break up. It's not nearly as powerful or effective as a core, so we only use them for emergencies. It doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah, uh, we sent Harrison and a security team to set it up when we arrived. I hope they're okay. Maybe you should come with me. If I can find Lily, we can get out of here together. No way. I'm not leaving a safe room unless it's to get out of Union entirely or someone forces me out. And who the hell is this Lily you keep mentioning? Lily is my daughter. She's the core. No wonder you're so determined to find her. I could really use your help. I'll help you from in here when I can, but I'm not going out there. She's just a little girl. I know, but appealing to my better nature isn't a good way to convince me of something. Sorry, I'm just not built that way. He's built yeah, different. Noticed. He is just straight up built different. We opened up a new part of this thing. That's why we were, uh, 
That's why we didn't have the pass code to this. So pretty much we have to get over there. So we cleared, oh Jesus. We cleared every zombie, like every mob out here we cleared. And we got to a certain point in the game and it respawned all of them. So, dude, the world design in this game, man, they did such a good job. Holy shit, they really did. Why? I'm not, I'm not sure what sees me right now. And that is so terrifying for some reason. Oh shit. I see what sees me now. Look at that fucking guy in the tree. Okay. Oh shit. Um. He's oddly just chilling up there. So, I mean, I'm not gonna just. Like. This is fucking actually scary because I, I can't see shit. Oh fuck. Fuck 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 Oh god Oh what it what is in front Oh god they really reach spawn ship Oh god Listen, this is for future me to worry about. This is for future me. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me. And it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that psycho I told you about? The one with the powers he shouldn't have? He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. I'm sorry we didn't have time for our briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Okay, calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. I'm on my way to City Hall. I'll call you later. So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. Well, it worked. Hmm. We're here. I already hear a bunch of spooky shit. Search for exit B2 in the marrow. I just saw a glimpse of what this map can be. That is fucking crazy.
Why am I walking towards this thing? Looks like the start of the Pentagon map on fucking Call of Duty Zombies Black Ops 2 or whatever it was. Oh! With the success of the MU Center recruitment plan, Union's growth is exceeding projections. Stem pod manufacture has been increased. Union expansion has been drafted and is scheduled for rendering. Due to population growth, the Union environment map will have to be enlarged by 50% in addition to new residential areas. A farming zone and an industrial zone will be added to accommodate job assignments for new citizens. Looks like they were still designing parts of Union in here. Well, how'd that go for him? Take those. Oh, this looks like a jump scare. Oh, that's what I'm saying, bro. They Bitcoining in here. There's a lot of noise around me. You know, we can never be too safe. Seems like things didn't go so well down here either. Poor man. I don't want to be here. Hmm. Oh. You look alive. Oh. Poor guy. Emergency lockdown procedures are currently in effect. Lockdown can be disengaged by tuning to the frequency on your communicator. Might as well give it a try. Emergency lockdown deactivated. Please wait for system reboot of each annex. Stand by. Recreation area emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Why did I know that that was going to happen? Oh. 
Okay, bitch. I don't know if you know this. Research wing emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Oh, you fucking. Oh, bitch. Brap. Ah! I knew I should have fucking looked around first. Got away with this game's butt. Stomp on that bitch. Security annex emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Oh no. Aye! You're fast. You're fast. You're fast, Hooker. You're very fast. I thought that was a fucking shock bolt. Oh, my bus. Oh no, that's not what I meant to switch to. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. All right. Well, I hope that's it. Need to conserve ammo. System reboot complete. Emergency lockdown fully disengaged. All right. Well, I take it that I had a chance to clear all that out slowly. But instead, I alarmed that thing, which was loud as fuck, instead. Well, look. You know... We can at least get all the loot now, right? This is another ammo pouch. Oh. Warden crossbow pouch, okay. Like, I don't know... I must be bad because I don't know where people are getting that much ammo. Like, there is no way that I'm getting enough, uh, like, that much ammo to carry. This was where that spooky bitch came out of. All right. <clears throat> oh. We've extracted all the juice. <gasps> ah. It's a strong ass knife. I also crop a lot Jesus of my stuff, though. Fell. Like... I... That's probably why. That's probably your problem. Like, the way... I make my tick... Oh, that is fucking ratchet. The way I make my TikTok... So I add two, two video tracks. So I have three video tracks of the same video. Overlooping each other. One of them I use to make my cam small in a circle. The other one I use for the blurred background. And then the third one I use to crop the gameplay. Make it more zoomed in. And that comes out to like how, like my TikTok I uploaded today, that's what it makes it look like. You know there's some fucking ugly things swimming. I don't like that. Bye, bitch. 
What is this? Isn't this just gonna fill the water back up? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> nice. Hmm. So this is the dreaded gas leak, huh? Thanks, O'Neill. I'd never make it through without this thing. Oh God, what am I playing, I Daisy? In here. Or fucking Tarkov? Damn. That means I can't rely on my firearms. What? Oh no, bro. Oh boy. lock damn well gotta follow the trail man <laughs> you're fucking joking me oh god No, fuck this. Oh, hey. How the fuck am I supposed to get past this ugly thing? It's a fucking mini game. It's like a fucking thing I gotta do. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. Mm, I literally can't switch to any gun. Whew, missed that. can still see me apparently okay you can lose aggro on her really quick okay What? That's fucking stupid. Wait. I'm actually, I actually don't know what to do there. Yeah, the, this one doesn't work with the bottle, though. Like, she doesn't. It's 
they don't think. Normally they don't. We can try. She has commando as fuck. What the hell? I think I said she can see me still. Okay. John. Hello. Can you hear me? It's Watkins. Watkins? What's going on? The collapse is happening faster than we predicted. <laughs> and now it's affecting the marrow, too. Those <laughs> things are trying to breach. You gotta help me. I can't. The collapse caused a gas leak in the access tunnels, and I left my respirator on the AP. Wow. Disrespectful. You're right, new guy. It's kind of our top priority here. With the success of the new recruitment drive, we are uh, nearing our data goals. Each citizen of Union adds 100 exabytes. The stem storage and processing ability. Two million exabytes of storage are needed to activate the wireless stem. Given project growth, we should reach that goal within a matter of months. The wireless stem will eliminate the need for costly stem pods and aid us in our goal. Phase two, total stem immersion for the general populace. The, the Unity cerebral chips will serve to mark and protect Mobius operatives from the phase two signal which will be sent out via STEMS wireless transmitters to all corners of the planet. The only problem I have with this game is I'm almost positive like they're just using me and my daughter's not alive at all. Like, it's very clear. But we'll see. 